Hello everyone, just a quick tutorial today on how to set up the Windows subsystem for Linux version 2. If you're still using the old version, I highly recommend switching to this new version because it seems to run a lot faster. Just a quick shout out to Mirror Communications, and specifically Brian because he brought this to my attention in the comments section. I'll have a link to the channel down below. Uh, because this is a big time save, and hopefully there's going to be a follow-up video that covers setting this up for Rails. I didn't want to include them both in the same video in case you're here just as a general Windows user and not as a Rails programmer. So yeah, thanks for watching. If this helped, leave it a thumbs up, and if it didn't help, leave it a thumbs down so that other people aren't subjected to it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your Windows Update Center and join the Windows Insider program. It's on the bottom left side and hit join. If it asks you to link an account, just pick your Microsoft account and make sure you set it to the fast track. Once you do that, it's going to prompt you to restart your computer. You're going to have to go through a couple update cycles here of just going to check for updates. You hit download, you download the updates, restart your computer. Eventually you're going to run out of updates and you're going to check your command prompt and you might still be behind the version you need. You're looking for version 19.587 or later as of the recording of this video. Here you can see I'm still at 18,000 so I go to check and there's no updates so I have to hit check for updates. Once you get all of these updates installed and restarted, which for me took over two hours, and here you can see I lost some footage so I'm re-recording this, uh, you're going to want to go to your PowerShell and you're going to want to run a few commands. The next thing you're going to do is type these two commands and I'll have these available in the video description as well as a link to the documentation page that I got these from. Uh, the first one is just going to enable the Windows subsystem Linux or WSL and the second one is going to enable the virtual machine platform. Once you run these two commands you are once again going to have to restart your computer. Once again, I've lost some video footage here, so I'm going to attempt to recreate this the best I can. The first thing you're going to need to do is open up your PowerShell and run it as an administrator. I'm not entirely sure if you need to run it as an admin, but it doesn't hurt to do so. Once your PowerShell is open, the first thing you can do is check if you have your Windows subsystem Linux installed. You can do this by typing WSL space L space hyphen L space hyphen V, sorry. Uh, if you don't see it listed there as Ubuntu 18.04 or whatever version you want to use, you can go to your Microsoft Store, you can search for Ubuntu, and you can click on the latest version. For me, as the time of this recording, that is the 18.04 distribution. And once you've searched for it, you can hit Install. Once you've installed it, you can go to your search window and search for the Ubuntu and run it. Once you run it, you'll get a setup prompt that asks you to make your user and uh, your password. Once that's done, you can go back to your PowerShell and type WSL space hyphen hyphen set hyphen version, the name of your distribution space two. And once you've done that, you can set your default version to be the WSL2 by typing WSL hyphen hyphen set hyphen default hyphen version space two. And once that's done, you should see that your Ubuntu is on WSL version 2. Okay, once that's done and you have your Ubuntu distribution working with WSL, the last thing you can do is go to the store and search for the new Windows terminal. If you just go to search and you type in terminal, you should see the result. You can either click it in the search window or click through like I did here and do more clicking than is necessary, which is kind of my whole thing. Once the store page loads and you hit install, it should be a relatively quick install when you compare it to the amount of Windows updating that you probably had to do to get to this point, which for me was about two hours worth. Uh, once it's installed, you can either hit launch or you can go to your search window and search for terminal. Uh, for me, it bugged out here and I actually had to open the search window twice. The second time I found it and I pinned it to my taskbar and then I launched it. And once you have your uh, new Windows terminal launched, you can see that you can uh, switch over to an Ubuntu console right in the window. All right, and that's going to do it for this video on setting up the Windows subsystem for Linux version 2. Uh, if this video helped you, please remember to like it, and if it didn't help you, then downvote it, because nobody else needs to see it then. If you're here for Rails content, then the next video will cover how to set up Rails in a brand new... Uh, WSL installation, I guess. So uh, I'll see you in the next one.